Ministry 153. When they stepped ashore, they saw a fire of burning coals with a fish on it, and some bread. Yeshua said to them, Bring some of the fish you have just caught. Shimon Kepha went up and dragged the net ashore. It was full of fish, 153 of them. But even with so many, the net wasn't torn. Did you ever wonder why there were 153 fish? Ministry 153 will teach you why in this and other powerful five-minute teachings. The Bible is a Jewish book, the Old Testament and the New. To understand the New Testament, one must understand the 153 fish and feed my lambs. Stay tuned for the next five minutes and truly experience the word from a Hebrew perspective. Ministry 153 is a part of Beth Goyim International Messianic Ministry. Picture this. You're walking in military formation underneath the banner. The banner has your clan or your, your troop that you're part of. The banner has your flag of your country. But why are banners so important? In the book of Bamidbar, Numbers chapter 2, verse 2, the people of Israel to set up camp by clans, each man with his own banner and under his clan symbol. They are to camp around the tent of meeting, but at a distance. Here, we're, we're around the Mishkan, the tabernacle of Jehovah, and we are camped by our clans, meaning our families, our cousins, but next to a banner, a degel, a banner, a standard, a sy- and it, there would be symbols on it. Now, let's look at a couple of scriptures real quick. Exodus 17, 15, Moshe built in the altar, called it Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah is my banner. Isaiah 11, verse 12, he will hoist a banner for the Goyim, assemble the dispersed of Israel. Song of Solomon, he brings me into his banquet hall, his banner over me is love. And Yochanan, John 3, just as Moshe lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. A banner is something that is over your head. A banner is something that you walk behind. A banner is something that um, signifies who you are to other people, to other like-minded people, and even more so to the adversary. As Yeshua was lifted up, he became the banner to look at, the degel, because he would hoist a banner for the goyim. Assemble the disperse of Israel. A banner is something that is raised up high to be respected, to be saluted, to be followed, to be marched after. The banner over us is love. And what is the definition of love by the Bible standard? It is obedience to the commandments. Because Yeshua said in Yochanan 14, 15, If you love me, you'll keep my commandments. We are looking at the banner today in this five-minute teaching. We're looking at what it means to us, what symbols are on it for us. In Israel, it is the Star of David, a six-pointed star, six being the number of man and many other things. We look at the American flag. It has red, white, and blue, red for the blood, white for purity, and blue for heaven. Ask yourself today, what banner are you walking under. Shalom, this is Messianic Rabbi Andrew Dinnerman. I would personally like to thank you for tuning in to the Remnants Call each and every week. You can listen to the full message on our website, bethgoyim.org. If you have drawn closer to the King of Kings, learned more about Him today, we are blessed. If you are blessed by these messages, please consider a donation to our ministry. You can go to our website, bethgoyim.org. That's B-E-T-H-G-O-Y-I-M.org. And click on the donate button. You do not have to have a PayPal account to donate. All you need is a debit card. Once again, thank you very much for listening to The Remnants Call.